whatever you want for a and, tournament. And if you win, if you win, you will get a copy of Smash Bros. Ultimate. They will personally buy it for you. Ooh. Yeah. Two, one, well, with that being said, go. um, we're going to go into Town City. Diddy Rosa. Now, Utopian Ray, uh, fresh off the heels of a great win over Odyssey. Yeah, Moving on to Dill, see if he can break, you know, break this champion next, because Dill is actually the demon of Xeno right now. Oh, yeah. Right now, yeah, yeah. Dill's been on a tear. Um, this is the last arc of Xeno has been Dill's. Just Dill. At least it wasn't numbers, I'll just say that. Yeah, no, honestly, <laughs> no, I, I'm okay with it. <laughs> love you, love you, John. But, um... Never forget that filler arc of John Numbers. Oh, that was, that was definitely that, that was, like, bro, that was a main arc. Dude, <laughs> like, no, you cannot. That, it wasn't in the manga. Um, definitely in the manga. <laughs> definitely. It was definitely. No. 100%. 100% canon. <laughs> um, can't be retconned. But, God dang it. But right now, uh, we have Utopian Ray, you know, pretty, putting in a lot of work right now. But, but Dill just, you know, taking Luma away from him. He tried to get that forward air just to... That was like some very silly stuff that just transpired. Ray just ju ledge jumped into... Whoa. Yo! When when <laughs> when a ridiculous aerial beats another ridiculous aerial. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Any other character. Did you that's see him just stand there? And that forward air hit Luma. He's like, I don't care. Yo. yo he went so, is so good. <laughs> He's so good. When he, yo, and the thing is, like, you hit Diddy... And it's like you expect him to get punished really hard for it, and then the barrel hits you, and then he just recovers again. Yup. And now you got back, and you died. Back air in Didi. I mean, Didi's got a lot of strong options going for him. He, he does struggle a little bit off stage compared to other top tiers. No, definitely, definitely does. Yeah, but like he still has ways to get back. Like he just did with that rocket barrel boost. Monkey flip, you gotta get those reads. Yeah, and, and Ray kind of du du ducked out the way when Dill was monkey flipping back to stage. He didn't have the position that he wanted to. Even if he gets slipped too, like Luma can still be out there and throw out some fisty cuffs. Oh yeah, ni oh yeah, nice boost grab. Yeah, that was definitely some online strats. Border from Luma, not enough to get the kill. Try to get the monkey flip. Oh, and the Nair didn't hit. Oh my god, that he's not dead. He's. I'm shocked. Hey, how did he get he's back to stage? Dead. He's not dead. Dill is living the dream. I can only imagine that Rage frustrated. Yeah, at this bro, point. this has to be filler arc. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this has to be dream arc. There's, there's no way you should live that. But I mean, man, Dill's just taking us to the bank. He's just taking all the percent he could get. Like, if Ray doesn't end this soon, did he could kill, confirm and kill him like, right now? Yeah, like down to the up smash will kill. We'll kill him right now. He's in max rage. On Titan City, max oh, rage. Oh, you died. Good stuff. Back throw. Yeah. Get the kill. Yeah, I mean, but right now Ray has to put in you know, a bunch of work. But Rose is one of those characters. Like I always say, make you explode at any moment. I've seen people die to zero percent. Oh yeah. So it, Dill's gotta respect it. This is the time for him to put on the offensive when Luma's gone, though. See him throwing out some forward airs. Yeah, and right now, yeah, Ray just hang, was just hanging out behind the banana waiting for Luma to come back. Ooh, the big but, boy reads. Ray, he fully tried the up smash waiting yeah, for him to come down. He knew he was going to land on the ground, too. Ooh. That up air is scary. Dill's put in a bad spot. Are he down throw? And Luma pushed him off so he couldn't get any advantage there. Yeah, Luma almost killed him. Could have clipped his barrels if he did uh, recovery too early. He wants that down until after the banana throw. Ooh, waited. Hot the uh, shield option. Yeah, just waited for him to drop. That is insanely scary. Yeah, I mean, good I mean, good evasion. Like, Rosa's air dodges are kind of ridiculous. Trying to challenge with the downer. Dill just playing patient. Waiting for the challenge. Eventually, oh, okay. He'll eventually get the kill. I mean, the town city's got the low ceilings, man. High percent. He'll eventually die to it, man. This is what's gonna happen. So we got Dill taking away game number numero uno. Yeah, man. From Ray. Yeah, I mean, good stuff by Ray. I mean, I mean, I thought Ray put up a yeah, fight. Yeah, I mean, good stuff by um, Dill. Counter pick? Don't don't go Mario. He, why is he hovering near Bowser Jr.? No, I think he's just thinking. I was gonna say. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mario. Yeah. He do, he has been known in the past to go Mario against Diddy Kong. Yeah. Um. I know Dill, um, he's a little iffy about against against playing against Wario, mm -hmm. so, I mean, I know that much, but, um, I mean, last time they played Mario, Mario, uh, Diddy, um, Dill kind of won, you know, pretty handily. Yeah. Actually, no, actually, no, I'm lying, I'm lying, it was kind of close, but. Regardless, Dill was the one that came out with the W in the end. 
But, you know, maybe Ray's got that power up that he needs, you know? There, there's something cooking in his blood. Yeah, you know, may yeah, maybe Ray, you know, studied the matchup with Mario a little bit more. So. I mean, because right now, you know, it's pretty much an even game. Another one of those matches where, like, if Mario gets in, he can just make him explode. But Diddy, being the character that he is, pretty much a sword character, is keeping Mario at bay. Yep. Okay, catching those monkey flips. And the other's exactly what he's got to do. Right there, he's had a grab opportunity. Mario loves to go for grabs at low percents. Gives him such big damage afterwards. Easily just do these ba easy bake oven combos with the up tilt, you know? Yeah. The Super Mario. Yeah, you know, the thing about this is, right, when um when Ray's landing on Diddy's shield with uh, unsafe aerials, especially when, when Dill has banana in hand, he doesn't get punished every single time. Like, he just needs to, you know... Watch out for how he's facing these, uh, you know, buttons against Diddy. Ooh, Nothing. get them up airs. I like it. He had enough rage for those to connect. Like, nice thirty percent combo. See if he can do it again. I mean, yeah, Mario got a lot of that grab. That fireball was flying. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Right now, just rage trying to try to find. Oh wow. That was. Hmm. <laughs> that, that yeah, that, that, that was lingered. definitely not supposed to be a forward tilt. <laughs> Ooh, okay, yeah, try to bait him. Mm -hmm. He's pushing the banana peel forward. <laughs> Yo, Ray is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Ray. No, he had it! Ray is funny. He was just I mean, pushing I mean, it I mean, That's just really smart, but it still looks funny to look at. Yeah, yeah, he's like, just... When you have it in your favor, you're just pushing, like, a piece of trash towards your opponent. Yeah. With your feet. While holding shields, just like, yeah. Yeah. Like, what are you gonna do? Ooh, that dash attack. Mini dash attack. Yeah, long-lasting. Oh yeah, trying to push him off stage with that flood. Yeah, if, if a Diddy Kong commits to a monkey flip and gets hit by flood off stage, they could die. Now, here, now here's the thing about this matchup. In last hit situations, I feel like Mario has the advantage. Because because right now, like, Dill is just struggling to get in with like any type of button. And Mario's one of those characters with those anti-air buttons, anti anti whiff buttons, like, you know, up smash, forward smash. You know, you miss space something, you'll just die. Yup. And he's trying to get to that percent where they'll he'll actually die. Okay, I knew he was gonna go for it, but like that's, I knew it wasn't gonna work. Yeah, it's not true at the percent whatsoever. Yeah. I feel like everyone that doesn't main Mario does that. Yeah. There's no, it's the main combo you see. That, but yeah, yeah. You know, Dill taking it with that down tilt four there. Yeah. Ooh, got the slip off. Ooh, trying to catch that air dodge with the four there. Ooh, dash that unsafe, but didn't get punished for it. So. Okay, well, Utopian Ray has not taken too much damage yet. Can easily close the stock out and move on to the second one. Yeah, and I, and I really do like that um, air dodge approach by Ray, because you know he's putting himself in position with Mario that has good that has good aerial drift and just closing a little bit of space. I mean, even though Dill died to that, I think it was almost like an acceptable trade because he just kept tacking on damage after damage against him. Yeah, I mean, like yeah, he was just he was trading a lot. In that and now it's like working wonders for him because now he's got Mario at 104. Okay. One down tilt away from possibly dying. Yeah, that, that won't work at zero. You trying to mix up the DI with the back throw? Throwing the banana up. Trying to bait Diddy to do something. No, That's gonna, yet. yep. Oh, wow, up the DI. Smash! Ooh. That was, that was, a, that was sus. Yeah, because think about Diddy Kong. Uh, when, he's, when he's not in rage, mm -hmm. um, it's kind of hard for him to get some of those kill conversions to solid. Because even though he Mario was at a higher percent, it still doesn't have like a lot of um, base knockback like that. You need you need rage somewhat to kill. So. What? Okay. He does have a base. Oh, oh wait, no, 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 no. Dill's wait. Tell him to wait. Sip, get taking a sip of water. Taking a sip of water. Hold up. Oh, he's. No, <laughs> Ray, Ray doesn't Ray, care, Ray dog. Dying. Yo, Ray's Ray's in the zone. Okay, so this is uh, we got we're going through the cycle of characters against against Diddy, man. Now, now this is actually something I would expect out of Ray, because Ray um, for the longest time was oh, uh, practicing like Cloud Bayo. I don't know if you've seen him, his Cloud or his Bayo. Yeah, yeah. Was, there, there's definitely a section where he dropped Rosa for a couple weeks. Yeah, he just just wanted to practice, you know, for ultimate, you know, just for himself. So like, you know, this this pick isn't too far fetched. Oh yeah, wait for that. Oh, nice. oh that forward turn. Oh, hit him into the peel. Now, what's great about Bayonetta on this stage, and Lilac Cruise in particular, is that if, it, if the Lilac Cruise tilts downwards while she can, like, shoot those guns, you can't dodge it by ducking anymore. Yeah. So it forces you to retreat to a platform, which Dill just did. Yeah, and another thing about the stage, like, all her all her tilts go, like, you know, her up tilt goes to the platform. The platforms are a perfect high score to just get any type of follow-up she wants. Mm. A, lot of a lot of landing platforms that aren't too high up in the air. 
He wanted that down smash so, bad. so badly. So bad. <laughs> yeah, it was scary. Like, Ray is uh, playing a little predictable, just a little bit. Yeah, I just think he's just trying to figure something out. Because, I mean, this is winner's finals. I'm not saying this is like a throwaway set. No. But this is something like Mika may be trying to gain da data from if you think he's going to get back into, you know, brands. Exactly. Like, you think of this as the first set of three. Yeah. Because you know you're going to win loser's finals. Yeah. Uh, couldn't get, oh, couldn't get the turnaround to grab. And but with that being said, you know, Ray's not out of it by any by any stretch of the imagination. You know, Bayo is one of those characters. Ray is one of those players that just, you know, he's used to being down. You know, he can be down and bring it back. Yeah. Trying to trigger the witch time off that banana peel. Banana wasn't close enough. Yeah. A good patience that time around. You saw him, Dill was ready for any sort of like ledge option from Ray. Jab off of it. Yeah. Rapid jab. Okay, Ray is just struggling to get back to stage, but as I say that, finally goes for the witch twist. Wow, and he tried to hit him with the down air, try to kill him. Okay, Dill getting a little risky, but I mean, Ray unfortunately was playing a little bit too long. Down I mean, there. to be honest, that wasn't too risky because he counted his jumps. He yeah. knew how like Dill knew how many jumps he had left. He knew like he only had one more jump. So he went for it. Yeah, he knew right there he had only had one more jump. He so. forced the air dodge, allowed him to get that gimp, and Dill's going to move on to grand finals. Yeah, I mean, you know, good showing by Dill, man. Mm -hmm.